Hi, I'm Donna Reesh, intermittent fasting blogger and teacher at DonnaReesh.com. I have an upcoming webinar called Intermittent Fasting Webinar, in which I answer 10 top questions about intermittent fasting. And maybe you have some of these very questions. Maybe you have seen people who've lost great amounts of weight um, through intermittent fasting, and that's raised even more questions. My husband and I have lost over 100 pounds together in our first year of intermittent fasting. Maybe you've heard of people who have been able to maintain their weight for the first time ever because of intermittent fasting. Maybe you've heard of people who say they are not hungry anymore during the non-food times of their day, and you know that person used to have to snack every two hours, and you wonder how in the world could that be? Maybe you've heard of people who say they are feeling better than they've ever felt, clearer thinking, greater energy, and you wonder how could this happen when they're not eating? So maybe you've seen intermittent fasting around, and this has even brought up more questions. So in my webinar, I answer 10 questions, and I want to just give the Cliff Notes version to you today in this video. So the first question many people ask is, what exactly is intermittent fasting? I mean, you know, obviously, with the word fasting in it, that it is a period of time without eating. And that's true. Intermittent fasting is where you go a certain period of time without eating and a certain period of time where they, you designate to eat. Everybody fasts in some way, right? Because everybody goes without food for six, eight, and sometimes even nine or ten hours a day. Intermittent fasting flips that around so that the food period is shorter and the non-food period is longer, both because of all the benefits of going without food as well as the uh, food control that you have when you have a shorter eating window. The second question many people ask is who should fast? This is an important question because only healthy adults should practice intermittent fasting. But what the surprising answer to this is that most everybody can participate in fasting if they are healthy adults because it is suggested or uh, noted that we have up to 40 days of fat stored on our bodies. Intermittent fasting gives you the opportunity to use the fat stores that are on your body rather than utilizing food. So those people definitely need to fast. So in answer to that, just about every healthy adult has fat on their bodies that they can use for fuel. Next, what happens during the fast? There are amazing things that I don't have time to cover in this uh, broadcast, but there are two really cool things that happen that um, most people really desire in their lives, especially somebody like me who has been a 40-year dieter. And the first one is called appetite correction. Who doesn't want your appetite corrected? And that is exactly what happens with intermittent fasting. For the first time in my life, I have food control that I only dreamed about. The second thing that happens is called fat adaption. And this is where, as I mentioned before, during the fast, your body just uses the fuel that's on your hips, thighs, waist, and buttocks. Very cool. The fourth question is, do I have different fasting options? And you definitely do. In the webinar, I go into more detail about the 16-hour fast, the 18-hour fast, the 19-hour fast, and even the 23 or 24-hour fast. There are tremendous benefits at all levels of fasting and all hours. And it's really based on personal preference, plus what you eat, when you do eat, and so forth. So there are many different fasting options. Another big question is how do I lose weight with intermittent fasting? And I teach four primary ways that we lose weight with intermittent fasting. The first one is, of course, that fat burning that happens when you're using your fuel stores on your body, when you're dining in instead of eating food. There are other mechanisms in place, too, such as body recomposition and even the fact that all of your caloric intake is condensed into a shorter period of time. And that also helps you skim calories off gradually without having to be on a severe calorie restricted diet. Next is my question. When I first began intermittent fasting, can I eat whatever I want and still lose weight? 
I teach in the webinar how you should set up your eating window so that you don't overeat, but you can still enjoy treats. Definitely intermittent fasting gives more wiggle room than any other eating approach. Number seven is what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? And I don't have time in this short uh, presentation, but there are many, including cognitive benefits, energy, mood, um, uh, appetite correction that I mentioned before, uh, longevity, disease prevention, very, very cool outcomes. Number eight question is what do I do when I'm hungry? And I definitely have some mechanisms in place to help you with this. But I do want to say that you've probably heard of a lot of people who are intermittent fasting. So the question is, if those people felt as hungry and hangry as we often feel just waiting for our next meal, if it's delayed, would they fast all the time if they felt that way? And the answer is no. So my answer to you is there are ways to keep yourself from getting the hungries and the hangries. Number nine, how do I set myself up for success? In the webinar, I have you covered. And the most important question of all is, can I really do intermittent fasting forever? The reason I say this is the most important question of all is because those of us who have dieted for 40 years, in some way, we all know the many, many protocols that we followed that we were not able to do forever. And intermittent fasting is sustainable. It is the number one most important qualification for an eating protocol. And if it is sustainable, then we will make our goal and we will stay in the practice and keep at our goal weight. And yes, intermittent fasting is sustainable and is something you can do for the rest of your life. So hop on down to that link below, the intermittentfastingwebinar.com. Sign up for one of my hour-long presentations coming up here in the next few weeks and find out the detailed, longer, research-based answers to all 10 of your intermittent fasting questions.